With the millions of galactic wonders our universe offers to us, it normally looks impossibly beautiful and brightly colored. But the color of the universe is actually beige. How and why do scientists believe our universe to be such a dull color? Following a survey of 200,000 galaxies and the light they emit, scientists have combined all the captured spectra to produce the color that they have now dubbed Cosmic Latte. Using the 2DF redshift survey, they were able to produce the Cosmic Spectrum, a representation of the sum of all the energy from the surveyed galaxies and their respective wavelengths of light. On this graph, we are able to see red light on the left and ultraviolet and blue light on the right. Along this graph view, we are also able to show the cosmic spectrum in a much more colorful way, allowing us to approximate the color the eye would see at each wavelength of light. Unfortunately, the color you see here may vary from viewer to viewer, as we have to make some assumptions about your vision and what monitor you are using to watch this in the first place. The most objective way to find out the true color is to quote the CIE XY values, which specify the color's location in the CIE chromaticity diagram. The numbers returned from these calculations were 0.345, 0.345. When translated, these numbers appear as a near-white color, with what looks like a tint of pink. However, under controlled conditions, you will have a hard time distinguishing this from true white. Your monitor, the light in your room, and the adaptation of the human eye all have a great effect on how you perceive this galactic color. Of course, the real motive for calculating the cosmic spectrum wasn't just to produce these pretty color pictures. But in fact, the cosmic spectrum is rich in detail and tells us a lot more about the history of star formation within the universe. Earlier, you may have noticed that the cosmic spectrum contains a handful of dark lines and bright bands. These correspond to the characteristic emission and absorption of different elements. From this data, we were able to work out that the universe started out young and blue, and grew gradually redder as the population of evolved red giant stars built up. The rate of formation of new stars has declined sharply in the past 6 billion years due to the decline in reserves of interstellar gas needed to form new stars. As the star formation rate continues to decline and more stars evolve from their young blue states to red giants, the color of the universe will continue to become redder and redder. Eventually, all the stars within the universe will burn out and nothing will be left but black holes. These two will eventually evaporate via the Hawking process, and there will be nothing left except for old light, which will itself redden due to the Doppler effect as the universe expands forever. Thanks for watching this episode of Top Science Facts. We love the fact that you guys leave comments, so please feel free to do that, and let us know if you have any questions you'd like us to answer, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.